Hi everyone and welcome to the Sunday Weekend Shave. Looking forward to this. Um, <clears throat> now firstly I'm going to be using the oldest blade I have in the house at the moment. And uh, I'll show you now. You ready? Now then. <laughs> Just bear with me one minute. That is a Wilkinson sword. I'm going to go very slowly. And I'm not sure if you can see any of this on a lot of glinting. But you see that? Beautiful thing. From the Royal Artillery. And I believe from World War I. Officer's sword. And if I turn, you see the... Um, this here is a family crest. Actually, it was loaned to me to show you good people by my friend Alistair. It was his family. I think it was his one of his great great grandfathers. He'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, who was an officer in the First World War in the Royal Artillery. And they were handed these swords. Every officer carried a sword, and that's his family crest there. Um, if I turn it round, uh, wait a minute, just bear with me if I can find it. It should have, there we go, if you see there, uh, where are you? No, I've lost it. There, it should be. Can you see Royal? Royal, and then just underneath, artillery. Beautiful thing. And I'll show you who made it. I'm trying not to go through the roof. If you can see this on the camera. Henry Wilkinson, Pall Mall, London. And as many of you may know, or may not know, I mean, look at that, look at this. This is a genuine, look at it. Bit of history here. So thank you, Alistair. So I thought you might like to see that. Um, Officer's sword. And this is how Wilkinson's sword started. Henry Wilkinson made swords, Wilkinson sword. So there we go, that's a genuine Wilkinson sword. And look at the, this is the holder. It says on, this, on there again, if you can see it. Wilkinson Pall Mall. And two loops there. It would have been on chains on the left side of the officer and then this would be drawn back in like that fantastic so there you go a bit of a history lesson as well there you go Wilkinson sword so just put that down safe There we go. Right, on with the shave. How are you doing? Are you well? Right, I am, thank you. Um, Mitchell's Wool Fat. Made in England, made in Bradford in Yorkshire. Um, and I must say, um, what I've done, while I was in the shower, I bloomed, I've soaked the soap in hot water, the whole pack, in the bottom there, if you can see that. And fill this right to the top with hot water, put the brush in there as well, and then drained most of it off. And just been creating this lather before I started the video camera recording. And it seems to be doing okay. I don't have many, I thought it was very airy the last time I used it, but we'll see. Hope the lighting's okay. I've got the lights facing me today. What razor are you using, Paul? Well, I'll tell you now, it's a, a quite a simple, very inexpensive razor. It's the Yuma razor, made of aluminium, aluminium. <laughs> Three-piece razor, and this one's very oxidized now. If you remember my last shave with the, the Gillette, I'm using the Wilkinson Sword uh, G2 
Gillette blade actually, it is the, it's, I don't know if it says it on the other side, just bear with me. Uh, yeah, if you look there, Wilkinson Sword, a Gillette product, it's the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. So this is its second use and the Yuma, very inexpensive but quite an aggressive razor for what it is, very light, hollow, uh, good bit of overhang. The blade sitting nice and level, so we'll see how it performs. So we'll just gather some of this. Oh, lovely. And this, go on, the scent is lovely on this. Um, I've sent the, the winning uh, the giveaway to Paul, Paul Calder, and um, not sure if she's watching this, but. Um, he was saying his daughter was excited when she heard me mention her dad's name. So, hello Madeline, if you're watching. You okay? <laughs> Not that she would be, obviously, but uh, you never know. This is lovely. It's a lovely scent. Um, oh, how can I describe the scent? Lanolin, natural lanolin has been prepared with. Um, I don't know, just like a, you know, one of these soaps when you get a soap smell, but you think, oh, that's nice. Like imperial leather, you know, that nice soap. It's not like imperial leather, but it's, it's that type of nice scent, if that makes sense. I only make sense to myself. Even Mrs. H doesn't uh, understand me sometimes. Do you? Because I know you're watching. <laughs> Look at that. We've got the national flower this week, the daffodils. Nice bright yellow. Bring a colour. So right off we go. Let's see how this performs. Can you see that? How clean that was. And there's no pressure. See that? It's <laughs> great, isn't it? I tell you, even though if you're like me, if you're just starting out shaving. And I'd like to say hello to anybody new to the channel. Thank you for watching and hope the videos bring you some um, advice or knowledge, tips, hints and tips. Uh, as you will gather, I'm not an expert. I'm just a normal, well, normal man. <laughs> I'm just a normal citizen, shall we say, who likes shaving. And I enjoy making videos and the friendships we've created. If you take anything from the videos, even a bit of humour, we have a bit of fun, nothing too serious. Uh, life is too short, isn't it? Right, this is, uh, I like it thick and creamy, you see, so I don't add too much water. Look at this, look at this. Don't waste it. But, uh. Mm. Nothing added to this soap, only water. What do you think? So 
so I hope you're having some great shaves and I hope you're in good health. I hope the weather, well here it's mad, it's absolutely, you can wake up in the morning, it'll be dark, cloudy, hailstones and an hour or two later it'll be raining hour or two later the clouds will disappear and it'll be brilliant sunshine and I'm just hoping it doesn't have any play havoc on my tomatoes which I've put out in my little greenhouse oh this is lovely let's try the slickness That's good slickness, very good slickness for a shaving soap. That's lovely. I don't seem to remember. I don't know, have you ever had that where you've used a soap and you thought mm, it's a bit dissipating, a bit airy? Now this today, I love it. It's it's a completely different soap. And I've had this puck a while in actual fact double chin oh they've restocked on Amazon and on eBay double chins and when you buy one if you mention Paul H when you buy it uh, you'll have 20% off okay <laughs> you are somebody will go <laughs> somebody will go and look for it now I'm just going to add water to this brush just to see what happens and it'll explode into loveliness oh I love this when I don't spill it what will you do with a puck after shaving well I take the puck out, rinse it, leave it on the sink overnight to dry. Once it's dry, I place it back as best I can into its wrapper, which is a wax paper, and then it goes back in its box. And it's kept very well for me doing that. Doesn't lose its scent either, it's beautiful. Very happy with this today. Blade, right, how do I, let's get back to the blade. Um, now this is an aggressive razor. Now would I say that is, in the, in the Gillette, in the Slim Twist, there was, you could feel the bite of the blade. Yes, it was a new blade but you can feel the bite of it. Um, and I would have placed it above an Astra Green as Jock Stewart asked. And some people are wondering, is it more aggressive? It's slight, to me personally, it's slightly more aggressive than a Wilkinson Sword standard blade. Um, in this, it doesn't feel as aggressive as weird as that might sound it's going through it like butter but it's a very smooth aggression obviously I can feel the blade exposure more in this razor but it's a very comfortable smooth aggressive shave but there isn't a massive difference um, it is slightly more, uh, as I say, aggressive than the Wilkinson sword, but not nothing major. Will, uh, Persona Red, how would you compare it? Well, if I'm honest, I need to use it more. I've only used it in two razors. I need to use the blade through need to use in various razors then that gives me an idea um, 
on how the performance is. But onto this, this actual shave here and now with this razor, uh, there's not a lot of difference between this and a Persona Red in, in, in feel. Uh, or shave, that's fantastic. There's hardly any picker, or just a few there. Right, very pleased. Something which I forgot to mention. Uh, when I shown you the uh, the leather travel razor case, which Scott sent me from Range Leather. Um, fantastic product, but what I will say is I would never travel um, with a blade in the razor, whether it's in a case or not. Always take the blade out or leave it in its envelope until you get where you're going and then put it together. Uh, there's something I've never done, actually, I don't travel with a razor blade in the razor actually it's a, just a safety thing really right very happy with that not happy enough for that but I haven't done the pickups come on Paul you're going off the off the rails here this soap is amazing to me I had a feeling I didn't enjoy it the last time I used it for some reason I apologize to uh, Mitchell's wool fat, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I bought this puck a while ago, as in years, a few years. Oh, come on, this is fantastic. Very, very lightly. Excellent slickness. Right, rinse off Paul, rinse off. Rinse off. Oh. <laughs> right then. Damn, this is good. <laughs> Can he shine in it? Right. Thea's lemon today, because I am a right lemon. And it matches the flowers. Oh, come on. You can't argue with this. You... God, blimey. If you... Hey, I can't. I'm speechless. Absolutely speechless. <laughs> Get your nostrils around that. <laughs> right. Oh, and another thing. You know I've had uh, his lordship here. And uh, nice to see him come in, but nice to see him go in because there's a lot of people here and security and people do this and people take him to the toilet and wipe his certain places for him. And anyway, he left his mug here. <laughs> hey, look at that. I mean, who carries it? Who takes their own mug with them? I don't want to keep that. Don't you tell him. And if you 
contacts me. I said, no, no, I haven't seen it. So that's our secret, all right. Right then, cologne time. I'm gonna use this, I love this cologne. Because I don't use it often, and when I use it, oh, it's lovely. Lemon and ginger, 4711 Aqua Colonia. Lemon and ginger, look at the bottle, beautiful, isn't it? And this particular one comes, it's all glass. It comes, you can either, I'll show you now, have it like that, like I use it, or it comes with a spray. You can just put it in and screw on and like that. So, a couple of gloves. Oh, bit of a tingle. Oh, 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 bit of a tingle. That's lovely though, don't I? Oh, come on. And that one. Oh, I mean, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> ah, I thought I did. See that? Again. Caught it. But I did it on the last when I was doing the pickups. I thought I felt that. Right. I'm very happy. And to bring it back to commoners land, Tesco sensitive body lotion, fragrance free. And I want it fragrance free because of that uh, beautiful stuff. Oh, I've got too much out of it. Don't need a lot of this. Very good value for money this. Just over a pound British money to buy a big one like that. That's lovely. That is lovely. Very satisfying. So I just just rinse my hands. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope you have a, if you're going to have a shave today, I hope you have a fantastic one. T-shirt straight in the wash now. Oh, quite warm, you know. I'm shining, am I? Yeah. <laughs> so, just to recap, Razor was the Yuma, three-piece, non-adjustable, quite aggressive, inexpensive, very lightweight, aluminium, aluminium, um, good travel razor, not worried if you lose it, uh, but I have noticed the popularity as these went, the popularity of these went up, the prices went up a bit, but they're still a, you know, inexpensive razor. They do oxidise and change colour and look quite revolting actually, but they're clean, it is clean, it looks a bit worse on the camera lens actually, but it's a um, good razor. Gillette Wilkinson Sword or Wilkinson Sword Gillette uh, Good blade performed fantastically on the second shave um, Went through like a knife through butter But it's too early for me to give a proper um, Rating of it really of how is it aggressive to this and that. I've got to use it in many more razors uh, To give a proper you know um, Rating of it, but in the two shaves I've used Fantastic. It is, in this razor, it feels, well, no better than a Persona Red and slightly more aggressive than the Wilkinson Sword Standard. Um, good razor, a good blade. Omega Blue Ball Brush, a stiffer knot, ideal for hard soaps. Um, Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap. Fantastic soap. I had a thought in my head, I'm sure, when I last used it, it wasn't as good as it was today. It could have been just me, the way I'd done it that day maybe, but today I soaked, as I said, soaked the soap, the puck, the whole thing, in the bowl, hot water, to the top, shoved the brush in, went for a shower, come back, drained some of the water off, and then created this lather and really went for it until it started to go thick and creamy and then just went even more and then I switched the camera on. Um, rinsed off with water, 
Le Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel, fantastic stuff. Uh, then we use this 4711 Aqua Colonia, beautiful cologne, lemon and ginger, beautiful, unique scent, beautiful bottle, never mind anything else, and uh, that's lovely. And then the Tesco Sensitive Body Lotion, fragrance free, and I can smell that cologne. Well, is it a cologne? Revitalising or it doesn't stay to aftershave tonic, whatever. Yeah, lovely stuff. So, thank you for your time yet again on your weekend. Hope you have some uh, fantastic shaves. Um, for, well, this weekend, and it's a, a bank holiday here in the UK. Uh, Monday, May, May, is it May bank holiday they call it? Thank you to Alistair for very kindly loaning me the Wilkinson sword, Henry Wilkinson sword, which belonged to his um, family from the First World War, who was an officer in the Royal Artillery in the First World War, we believe. Um, so I hope you like that bit of history, how Wilkinson sword started making swords. And thank you to his Lordship for leaving his mug, I'll keep that. <laughs> And I'll leave you to it now. Thank you mostly for watching and uh, putting up with my mad stupidity sometimes like a child in a sweet shop here but I just love it. Thanks again, have some fantastic shaves, look after yourselves and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.